Today, we're going to talk about using presenter modes in Teams. This feature gives you three options on how you would like to embed your video feed into a presentation. Please note that you must be using the Teams desktop app to see these options. I have opened my Teams desktop app and I have just joined a meeting where I'm going to pretend to present a webinar. Now to get started, I know this sounds obvious, but the first thing to do is to double check that your web camera is turned on. Otherwise, you will not be able to select the presenter modes. According to the research that Microsoft did, people will be more engaged in the presentation if they can see the speaker. Please let me know in the comments below if that's true for you. Now that I verified that my camera is actually on, I'm going to take a look at the share content options in the upper right hand corner. First, we're going to choose a background for our presenter modes. As you scroll through, you will see that there are a few options available. However, at this time, there is not an option to upload your own custom background, such as one with your own company logo. I'm just going to choose this first option and then go back to the main share content window. From here, I can choose which content I want to show. And in this case, it's just going to be my entire window. Then I can open up my PowerPoint presentation and put it into full screen mode. If you hover your mouse over the top of the window, you will see the presenting toolbar. The toolbar will hide itself from recording software. So what you're seeing here is a screenshot. The default is content only, which means that my audience is seeing my PowerPoint presentation and nothing more. The next option over is standout mode. When you select one of the three presenter modes, you will get a new window that pops up that allows you to preview how your camera feed will look on top of what you're presenting to your audience. This window will hide itself from the audience, so you will be the only one seeing it. As the presenter looking at the preview, I can see that in standout mode, my camera feed is on the lower right hand side of the screen and it's blocking the Outlook Productivity Tips title. So standout mode may not be the best option for this particular PowerPoint presentation. The next option we're going to look at is side by side mode. And again, I have a preview window and this time you can see that my camera feed is on the right hand side of the screen and the PowerPoint presentation is on the left. The benefit of using this mode is my camera is never going to obscure anything that happens to be on the screen. The slight drawback is that because Teams is trying to make room for both my camera and the slide deck, if you have smaller icons or graphics in your presentation, it might be a little bit harder for your audience to see. The last option we have is reporter mode. And what this does is it puts the emphasis on the camera feed of the presenter and any information they may be sharing on the screen, such as this PowerPoint slide deck, is over my left-hand shoulder and slightly smaller. Now the example of how we would use this where I work, when we have a town hall meeting, the person that is speaking is supposed to be the center of focus and any slide deck that they show are used to emphasize a point that they are making. For this video, I chose to use PowerPoint presentations to demonstrate how to use standout mode. But as you can see here on the screen, you can use standout mode with any screen share you choose, such as a walkthrough of a particular application like Teams, which is on my screen right now. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.